Okay then. Well, off we go, coach. First part of our tour is the Daryl. Oh, I guess you already <laughs> familiar with all. I've been out there a few times. This is a much better use of this land than what used to be here, which was uh, the golf course. Yeah, just never confused with Augusta National. <laughs> used to play it for seventy-five cents. Seventy-five. That was the student greens fee. Even par back there. Uh, occasionally on certain holes. Yeah. 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 Certain um, holes. <laughs> certain holes. I had a Sounds like my even par. You feel like you're familiar with your surroundings now? You're kind of blending into the new community and all? Yeah, I've been out a little bit. Had an opportunity to, uh, you know, drive a little bit on campus, downtown, the square. And I actually know how to get back and forth to work now through town. That's important. Uh, you're only about 15 minutes away, aren't you? That, absolutely. Okay, so this has always been known as the Beer Barn Field, and believe it or not, it used to be where soccer was played. Um, more importantly, it's where intramural softball was played. I had my finest softball moments on that field for Len Kai Alpha. Nice. Stayed, stayed there's, healthy. There's huh? not a plaque there, but that's why I'm happy to point it out. You hit any out? There was no fence. No fence. Yeah. So, no. I did see the most selfish act I've ever seen on an athletic field at that game. And it was uh, two of my teammates involved and fraternity brothers. Uh, they were having a season long RBI contest in the final game of the year. They were neck and neck. So one of my brothers, let's call him Kyle, was standing on third base. Uh, the other brother, let's call him Kirk, was at the plate. Kurt lined a solid center field single, rounded first, dusted himself off, looked very happy he won the RBI contest until he looked across the field and saw Kyle still <laughs> standing on third base with his arms folded, smiling back at Kurt. He was competing. Man. So how, how would a coach handle that level of selfishness? That's like a whole new plane for selfishness. Yeah, we're, we're going to... We would we would have a little words with the guy on third. <laughs> Kurt Kurt wouldn't have made it along with me. Uh, well, Kyle but, or Kyle, yeah. I'm sorry. Um, Kirk but at least was, he was Kirk competing. Would, it was important to him. Coach. <laughs> it I mean, was important to him. Hey, Kirk was the victim in this case. This, this Fry Street area. This was redeveloped among some um, protests a few years ago. But I don't think anybody's too disappointed with it. Lots of good places to eat and drink and shop, and now people can live here. Fun place to hang out. We've we've uh, we've been down there at lunch a couple of times. Me and a couple of coaches, and always enjoyed just kind of watching people walk around. And uh, there's some really good restaurants over in that area. And down here, way used to be the Lambda Chi Alpha House, where the softball selfishness was uh, born. <laughs> Whatever happened to that game? Did y'all end up winning? Yeah, the game was well in hand. Well, so go. the only thing well, I understand in question now, was the RBI championship. I was competing. The whole downtown, and particularly the square, it used to be a ghost town. I mean, most towns like this lost, you know, kind of their downtown business district, never to return. And now it amazes me when I'll be driving around here on a Sunday afternoon or a weeknight and you can't find a place to park. Right. The Campus Theater has been a theater forever. The um, movie Bonnie and Clyde was shot around here had its premiere at the Campus Theater. Warren Beatty and Faye Dunaway. Bet you would have wished you would have bought all the real estate around here. All the buildings. Right? Every bit of it. Every bit of it. Or even one <laughs> tiny <laughs> bit of it. Um, one, of the, one of the businesses that really brought the square back was Beth, Beth Marie's old-fashioned ice cream parlor. My children are going to love that. I don't know if you've been to LSA yet. Lone Star Quite Attitude. a few times. It's kind of a Texas-themed um, hard rock cafe. Love sitting up top. Enjoying outside. Great burgers. Unbelievable. 
The Texas building now is another great restaurant, Barley and Board, partly owned by Jason Lee, the actor, star of the best movie of the last 30 years, almost famous. If you haven't seen it, I'll loan you the DVD. You I haven't seen the movie. Later. I have been. I have been there though. My, my wife and I went there one evening. And had dinner. We we, uh, we got a babysitter. It was one of the first times we went out on the town uh, since I'd gotten the job, and we really enjoyed it. What are you most looking forward to about the season? Just getting out and competing again, really. Uh, you know, it's been, you know, since I've taken this job, you know, our kids have really responded well. Um, had a lot of excitement, and they, they were unbelievable this spring. And this summer, they really worked extremely hard just getting back and getting a chance to see them, watching the bodies change, and watch them come together as a group. And, you know, it's, uh, the season's about the process. I just really enjoy the process. It's kind of like a puzzle. And everybody else sees the game on Saturday when it all takes place. And, but a lot of people don't realize how much work and uh, these young men have to do throughout a week to prepare for that game. If it takes the process a lot of work. isn't right, the game isn't going to go right. Absolutely. And, and every week's different. You know, week in and week out is different. And, uh, not only on the football field and on you know in the film room and the practice, but you know your week in school is different. You know some weeks are more hectic than others. These guys are also out there. They're writing papers. They're going to study hall. They're um, you know having to take tests, study for exams, and um, you know a lot goes into it. That uh, and then also socially. You know week in and week out, uh, everybody has different different things going on, and so just getting through the process and watching the kids work and compete. And, coaches it's it's rewarding. We will eventually get to the